Okay, today is February the 16th, 2017, and right now at 10.15 p.m., we have a temperature of 56 degrees in the foothills. The relative humidity is 77%. The barometer is down at 29.95 inches, and the uh, dew point is at 49 degrees. And today we had very heavy chemtrail aerosol spraying uh, as uh, this moisture field moved in. Uh, we saw the jets flying very high in the skies, uh, dumping their aerosols uh, right on uh, schedule to prevent that rain until tomorrow, Friday. And if you look at the uh, the MODIS Today map, this is the middle zoom, uh, the 1,000 meter zoom on the uh, USA-5 map. Uh, we can see Los Angeles right here. And we can also see the very first uh, band of moisture uh, you know that's moving in to the uh, west coast and we can see that brilliant white this is a natural moisture laden uh, uh field of moisture moving in and of course we see the uh the chemtrail aerosols which are all in this area which is that light gray we can immediately see the uh the difference in color here on the uh, satellite map so we had very heavy uh, spraying all day there was actually a kind of a whiteout uh, right around uh noon one o'clock time uh pacific coast time and uh we can see that a uh, gray haze which has been sprayed over uh, most of this incoming uh, uh moisture field right here so let's go back to the uh the uh, the other map here the water vapor map and take a look at the situation now today we see the jet stream we have moisture developing in the jet stream today now if you remember yesterday's video we saw the jet stream there was no moisture uh, showing up here in the uh, in the water vapor map. This is a 150 knot jet stream, which is around, I think, 173 miles per hour when you convert that. So this is very fast flow moving right into uh, Southern California, Central and Southern California. Also, we have a developing storm right there. That's like a 998 millibar, I believe it is, uh, storm. And also we have a second storm, which is uh, developed overnight. Uh, 993 millibar, and these are both moving towards the uh, west coast. Certainly, this one will be moving in by tomorrow. There is a transmitter right here, and we see that uh, break in the uh, in the moisture pattern right there, and also uh, right back here we have a transmitter right on the core of that system, the center of that uh, low pressure system, and that is preventing these lows from uh, generating into large, uh, very low pressure systems. And so the uh, transmitters prevent the uh, pressure from diving down and becoming a very dangerous uh, situation. I'm not defending the the uh, what they're doing. Uh, we're just pointing out what what is actually happening. Okay, so now here's the the infrared loop. We see the uh, moisture developing right here. And this is all going to move right into uh, Southern California, according to the. Uh, according to the weather report that we've been hearing for over a week. These people uh, told us that this was going to happen one week ago, and we've seen over that last week storms with giant right angles on them. Of course, we have a, a buffer zone built in right here. This is an, a high-pressure installation to maintain separation. All of this is orchestrated. Every day there is manipulation going on, and we see that on these maps. And, of course, uh, uh, one week ago, uh, today we had this forecast uh, that the following Friday we would have a lot of rain, and sure enough, they've managed to uh, come through on their uh, word, and we see that uh, we have a lot of moisture right here on that jet stream moving right in. We do see the break right here. We can go back to that water vapor map. There is a transmitter right here following that storm, as they say, to prevent uh, full development. This is a let's go take a look at the. Uh, the surface analysis map and we can see what what's actually going on there's actually two lows in in this uh storm system here we have a storm right over here and we have a gale listed here with a trough and a a couple of cold fronts which are all moving in and we still have residual high pressure down here 1020 millibar all through this area all right so we've got these two lows which are going to move in probably by tomorrow and we have this other second system, which is now moving to the uh, sort of the east-northeast. And this is also supposed to move in. And we have a big trough shown right there, low pressure. Let's go back again and look at these maps. So we see what's happened. 
they've allowed moisture to develop overnight the last 24 hours uh, we see a lot of moisture development right through here and of course this was we saw this same pattern last night this has dropped down into the uh, southern california area let's go ahead and look now at the doppler radar we can see that there is uh, rain moving into uh, Point Conception, Paso Robles, and up in the uh, San Luis Obispo area all through here. Uh, but uh, there's been spotty rain in Los Angeles, a little bit of rain in the foothills, not not too much. It's been sort of starting and stopping. We can see the uh, map here. We've got uh, some rain up in uh, Palmdale. This uh, transmitter up in, um, uh, what's the name of that place? It's, uh, I just wrote it down. Yeah, Kramer Junction. Let's take a look at that. Got a transmitter at work just to northeast of uh, Edwards Air Force Base, and that transmitter is just right, uh, right about here. That little roadway that uh, I showed here a few weeks ago. Uh, there's a transmitter, a Doppler type transmitter, uh, a uh, Nexrad, pardon me, Nexrad transmitter, right, right around here. So that's where this all is uh, originating, right, right about there. That's breaking up the rain. And we can see that here on the uh, Doppler map. Let's back out a little bit here. We can. Okay, so the rain's moving in. We have a transmitter manipulation just north of Lompoc, right in this area. We can see the uh, scatter pattern right, right in here. Now, if we back out and we go up north, we see that uh, there's not much rain up here in the area where that dam is having a lot of trouble. Now. Let's go back again to the the big map. Once again, we see a lot of a lot of uh, rain. This is a big storm moving in right into uh, Northern California. Yet the Doppler is showing minimal amounts of rain. We see some uh, transmitter manipulation right here. Uh, that rain system right there is uh, chopped up. You can see that. That's probably the uh, Chico transmitter between uh, right right around near uh, Chico. And uh, that's chopping up the rain and allowing these folks to repair that dam, which is right at the, uh, pretty close to the spillway. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, let's go look at some of these other maps. We have the, uh, the rainbow map. We see that the jet stream moving in, 150 knot jet stream right into uh, southern and central California, along with that big storm. Now here's the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. We can get a better view of this uh, developing storm. This actually has two lows. We see them, one there and one there. Both of these are being manipulated. And again, on the uh, pressure map, uh, let's go back to that real quick. We have a 996 and a 1,001 millibar. So these are not, this is not a terribly strong storm, but it is It is pretty large. If you look at it right here, uh, that's a pretty big uh, size storm. When you compare that to what we used to look at on the weather reports in the 70s, we'd have a tiny little hairline uh, feature with moisture uh, swinging down, and that would bring two or three days of rain. Uh, so things have changed quite a bit. Here we have this upper level low that's moving to the east. There's not much rain uh, being developed uh, with, by this system because there's a transmitter surrounding that as well. Go to the Doppler and take a look at that. <clears throat> Right down here, where that uh, upper level low is, there's not not much uh, rain. Okay, let's go back to the uh, Western U.S. map, and uh, we can see that uh, we're in for it. We're going to get a lot of rain, which is good. Hopefully, that'll uh, help save a few trees and bring things back to life. We need the rain. All right, now here's the uh, infrared loop, and we see the uh, High pressure installed right in this area following that low as it moves in. And we see right here, keep an eye on this area, this should be wrapping around, winding in a counterclockwise manner as it moves towards the west coast. That's not happening. They've got this transmitter right here, and we see there's very, very little a rotation right here. It's actually kind of stationary. This is just sort of drifting along, trying to spin, but it's not quite... Uh, there's actually less rotation on this side than there is in this uh, little uh, low pressure system right there. So they're working on these areas with the uh, transmitters, and that is evident by the lack of rotation. Okay, uh, 
let's take a look next at the uh, this is the water vapor map for the southwest We've got Los Angeles right here we can see these bands of moisture moving in we had very heavy aerosol spring as I mentioned that stopped the rain the last uh, five days we've had a lot of spring over the last several days and that stopped the rain and here's all that moisture moving in on the jet stream we're supposed to have wind along with rain so we'll uh, be doing a follow-up report here probably tomorrow possibly in the morning here's the uh, jet stream map you see all that flow moving right right into uh, California and then turning up to the north, right uh, through Nevada and, and Idaho. Saw that. Let's go next to the, uh, this is the uh, sea level pressure analysis. We have that surface low right here, storm system. We have some high pressure still in the area here. We have 1,012 millibar right here. So that will break down and this will move in. That's according to the plan anyhow. We've got high pressure here right next to low pressure. Look at this, probably very windy down in uh, Mexico, where that uh, upper level low is. They've got a surface to upper level low down there. We'll take a look at that. Here's the second uh, storm right out here. We've got high pressure installed in between right here, depicted. That will maintain the separation between these two weather systems. Here's the uh, 500 millibar map. We see a lot of squiggly lines, and that's the uh, transmitter manipulation going on. And uh, right now we've got a 2995 on the barometer, so uh, that's good. Things are dropping. This should move in and deliver some rain. Here's the uh, 300 millibar map. We see that uh, upper level low. Look at these squiggly lines here. It's all being uh, manipulated. There's no rain. We'll take another look at this on the Doppler map, but there's there's no rain. This is a surface to upper level low with no rain. Let's take another look. Right here, there's just a very small amount of rain uh, right right here over southern Texas from that uh, weather system. We expect this to move in and uh, start seeing some rain here pretty soon. And of course, we've seen the, the MOTUS Today map with the chemtrails. Uh, that's why we didn't have any rain today. We had low 45%. Uh, there actually was around... Uh, in the, in the afternoon, it was around 30, 36 or 7 percent relative humidity because of all this uh, chemical spraying. Okay, so that's the uh, report, and we'll just uh, leave it right here. And uh, right there, see that jet stream moving in. Okay, so that's it. We'll do another uh, update later.